Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip. So today, I want to talk about mid-side EQ versus regular stereo EQ. And we're going to be using the EQ8 for this. So let me show you what I have going on here so far. Okay, great. So let's put the EQ8 on this first track uh, with the drums. And we'll solo that. Um, and let's make this bigger. So the EQ8 defaults to stereo mode, you see over here. So let's play this. And if I adjust any of these frequencies, it's going to adjust all the frequencies. Okay, that's great. Um, now, if we put this in mid-side, what that stands for is the middle is the M, and if you click it again, it's the side frequencies. So what they mean by that is middle, or the M is sort of middle, or mono, or the sounds coming from the center. Um, and the S is sounds, and the frequencies coming from the sides or the wideness of the track, the stereo width. Um, so let's play this, and first we'll leave it in mid-side mode. And what it's showing us here, actually on this frequency now, is all the sounds and the frequencies that are in the middle, or in the center. If I click on the side, you'll see that all of a sudden the graph looks different because these are just the uh, you know the sounds and the wide frequencies the stereo width here now if I start adjusting this when I'm on side mode here it's just gonna adjust my side frequencies and leave the center frequencies or the middle ones alone Now to hear this better, you can click on this headphone and it'll just show us what we're doing. Or play back. So those are the side frequencies, the stereo frequencies only. So if I wanted to widen these drums here, I could come in here to the side frequencies and really boost those up. We'll do sort of an extreme example for this. All right, so I've boosted the sides really wide here. Um, now, let's put that on middle. And you'll see that the mid frequencies now have their own bar here. And I could turn those down a little right where I put the, the other ones up to give it a little breathing room there in the stereo. So, OK. Now, what's interesting is, is if you put this back to stereo mode now, you actually won't be hearing what you just did. It's not that it will erase it, it's just that it won't play it back with the mid-side frequencies you just edited. Let's listen. That's mid-side. That's back to regular stereo mode. And you'll see that it's no longer playing back those frequency edits you made. Let's put it back. So I've really widened these drums with the side frequency here. All right, let's do the same thing to the other track. Let's grab another EQ8. So it defaulted to stereo. Let's put it to mid side. And I'll click on side. Those are just the side frequencies. So I'm really boosting those up for this 
tutorial here. Let's put this in stereo. And you'll see you've lost those edits for now. You can bring them back. So you can see here that using the EQ8 for mid-side frequency editing is a lot different than using it the way it comes standard in stereo. Um, and it's okay to edit, you know, your frequencies in stereo, but you can sort of hone in on getting a little more specific, and um, it's uh, a pretty good tool to use the mid-side frequency because um, you can really get uh, specific about how wide you want things, and it's really cool to be able to edit just that stereo, you know, wideness by itself and leave the center alone. So that's what's cool. You're not messing with the center. So if you had like a really nice kick drum, um, you don't want to widen that. You just want to widen, you know, the hi-hats and the other things maybe on that track. And so you're able to do that when you're in mid-side um, editing here in your EQ. So let's play this. So that is mid-side frequency editing using the EQ8. And I really like doing this on things that I want to really widen, you know. Um, the other reason you could use it potentially is if something's too wide. And then you could pull those wide frequencies down um, and still, again, not mess with your center. Um, which is great because that's um, a separate, you know, button. So if you're in the M here for mid, you could boost your center then, um, or lower it. Uh, so it's cool to be able to do that. So anyway, that's my tip of the day, mid-side editing using the EQ8. So thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.